Hi, my name is Ryan Terry. I'm a field agronomist with Pioneer in Northern Ohio. Today we're out in a cornfield. I uh, noticed some, some yellow spots in, in this particular field. Corn was planted about three weeks ago, so in general we're in that three to, three to four leaf, um, leaf stage on this corn. So when we think about the life cycle of a corn plant, we're in that transition period from that primary root system to that nodal root system. And you see some variability plant to plant, especially on the, the higher, sandier spots of this field. We're seeing some yellowing in this field. So coming out into the field to try to diagnose what's going on, that yellowing can be caused by a number of things. We know sandier soils, low organic matter soils, can run into situations where they have sulfur deficiency. But on further inspection, when we dig up a few plants, uh, we're noticing some, some feeding on these roots and it's gonna be the, the culprit of what we call AGB or the Asiatic garden beetle grub. And when we look at what the grub looks like, um, you know, it looks a little bit smaller than when we think about some of the, the true white grubs that we run into. And also it has a, a maxillary palp right there up by its head. It's that little white uh, bubble, a little bit of a circle. That enlarged maxillary palp is really how we identify AGB. As far as what damage they cause to the crop, you can see here on these, these both of these seedlings are showing damage. So you have your your seed, you have your primary root system coming off of that seed, then you have your mesocotyl, which leads up to the, the crown where your nodal roots are gonna develop. And you can see here, typically your a healthy mesocotyl would be nice, white, firm, and completely intact. You can see a high degree of feeding on that mesocotyl, as well as clipping of those nodal roots, and it's really preventing this corn plant from, from taking off and growing like it should um, and like we would want to. You take a look at the other one showing similar symptoms, um, you know, a little bit of a better nodal root system. This corn plant might be able to, to overcome the damage to the mesocotyl, but you can see the high degree of scarring that occurred on that, that mesocotyl there, causing the stunning, a little bit of yellowing and, and ultimately an unhealthy corn plant. So Asiatic garden beetle grubs are, are typically on sandier soils. They cause a lot of damage to the corn plants and can reduce stands and, and re result in replant situations. Unfortunately, we don't have a, a great control measure for them. The guys have had the most success in situations where they've used multiple foliar insecticides on the, the previous soybean crop to control the adults, ultimately reducing the amount of larvae in the field. For more information, go to pioneer.com or talk to your Pioneer sales rep. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.